Good morning, everyone. How is everyone this morning? I am so excited to be here this morning. Um, and I have some special guests today. And hopefully by showing them to you, you can guess what kind of book and what kind of song we're going to do for story time today. All right, let's see if I can do it. Simi, Kiki, come here. Come here, Simi, Kiki. Maybe not. They're not going to come. Are they? Simi, we practiced earlier. Simi, come here. Sammy, Kiki. All right. Sammy, come on. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Come here, Sammy. Come here, Sammy. I think we almost got him. Almost got him. Almost got him. Come here, buddy. Come here. We're not going to get Kiki. She's not going to come down. But this is my dog, Sam, or Samwise, or Sammy. And um, let's see if we can get Kiki. Kiki, come here, Kiki. She's not coming. I don't think she wants to come. But anyways, uh, what do you think we're gonna talk about in story time today? What kind of animal is Sam? <gasps> I heard dog. Yep, Sam is a dog or a puppy or a doggo or a puppo, whatever you like to call them at home. We are gonna do a story time all about dogs today because it's actually gonna be kind of a little two-part series about pets. Because when I come to you next week, I won't be live, but I'll be coming to you from this humane society. So uh, today we're gonna give some focus and attention to dogs, and then next week we're going to do cats at the humane society. I'm so excited to go play with kittens. Um, I have three cats, so I have a lot of pets. I have two dogs and three cats. Um, can you, if you wanna leave a comment and tell me what kind of pets do you have at home? We do not have any. We do not have any rabbits. We do not have any hamsters, although I know those are pretty popular pets. Uh, but those are what my pets are, so I'd love to hear about your pets. But yeah, we're doing a two-parter about pets. Today is dogs. Uh, thanks, Sam, for reluctantly coming over. That took a lot more effort than I thought it would. Uh, and Kiki never came over, so Sam gets the good dog award today. Okay. So we're gonna talk about dogs today. I've got Morris the monkey, who is not a dog, but is very, very cute and adorable. Um, he is in our magical red library bag, getting ready for story time. Uh, and uh, we're gonna start with a hello, then we're gonna sing our story time song. Then we're going to read a book about dogs, and we're going to um, sing a song about dogs, and then we will be all done for today. So that's our story time. All right, so I said we would get started with a hello, so let's start with that. All right, I love to do a hello that kind of looks like a big half circle in front of your face. So I love to go, hello. Can you guys give it a try? Oh look, you can't see because he's down here, but I got a cat as well. Hello. I love also to say hello to everyone. Can we give that one a try? All right. Let's join me on three. One, the cat moved the camera. Two, three, hello everyone. Ooh, guys, that sounded so good. Okay, um, let's do one more hello to everyone and then we'll say hello to Morris and see if we can get him to come out of the story time bag, our magical bag, and do a song with us. So let's say hello everyone again. Hello everyone. Ooh, that was louder. I loved it. All right, um, now we're gonna say hello to Morris. He's right here in the bag, so if we say hello loud enough, did you hear me? We have to be really loud. We can get Morris to come out of the bag and do story time with us. All right, one, two, three. Hello, Morris. <gasps> I see something moving. I hear someone getting ready. Uh, it's Morris the monkey! Hi everyone! Oh man, Morris you're so cute today. I'm gonna give you a big kiss. He gave me a kiss too. That was pretty excellent. Can you give a kiss to everyone out there, Morris? Alright. <gasps> Morris wanted to tell you that uh, he doesn't have any pets. Mostly because he's kind of like a pet, he's kind of like a friend. So he doesn't have any pets, but oh, he has some great ideas of what would make good pets. And he's gonna tell you all about it next week at our next story time. 
Awesome. I can't wait to hear about it, Morris. It's going to be so fun. Okay, today we're getting started with our story time song. Do you know how to sing that one, Morris? Oh, he's got it. What do we have to do? That's right. Our first thing we have to do to get our story time song ready is clap our hands. So can you guys, can you show us that again, Morris? So we go clap, clap, clap. All right, what's the second one? Oh, pat our legs. So we go pat, 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 pat. Perfect. That was really great. Okay, so we um, just go like that. We go clap, 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 pat, 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 right? No. Oh, we have to mix them all together. That's right. Thank you for reminding me, Morris. All right, so we mix them up. And we mix them high, mix them low, mix them out to the sides, all mixed up, silly and nice. Are we all mixed? Okay, so we go pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. One, two, ready, go. Story time, story time. Come and share a story time. Look at books, listen well to the stories we will tell. Great job, everyone. Great job, Morris. Thanks for following along and joining in. You might have noticed that we start with three pats, three claps, and then we do our one, two, ready, go. So we'll do it exactly the same the second time. But in the middle, there were also some moves that you might not have picked up. Um, but we put our hands out in front of us like we're looking at a book. Morris is demonstrating it very well, looking at a book. And then we put our hands behind our ears to show that we're listening well. Okay, so let's do it one more time because I love this song and I think we should sing it two times. All right, here we go. We go pat, clap, pat, clap, pat, clap. One, two, ready, go. Story time, story time, come and share a story time. Look at books, listen well to the stories we will tell. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much, Morris. Okay, I think Morris is going to come back out to help me sing our uh, last song, but he's going to help me get the book first. So we can read our book about puppies, about dogs. Have you got it, Morris? Oh, oh, oh no, it's falling down in the bag. Oh, bag. Oh, thanks, Morris. Okay, Morris is gonna go take a rest. Singing songs early in the morning just tired that cute little monkey right out. All right, so our book today is an oldie but a goodie. It's called One Pups Up. Um, next week, I'm gonna read a brand new book about cats. But this one is One Pups Up, and it's by Marsha wilson Chaw and art by Henry Cole. I love the end papers on this book. Look at all of the cute little puppies and the cute little toys. One Pups Up. One Pups Up. Okay, this one's great because we can count along with it. So we're going to start with one pups up. Can you join me for the next one? <gasps> Two puppies tumble. Three puppies roll in a fuzzy puppy jumble. So we did one, two, three. Four puppies drink. Five puppies huddle. Six puppies piddle in the middle of the muddle. All right, this is when we switch over to doing two hands. So you're always gonna have five on one hand and then you're gonna put one on the other hand. So this is six. Seven pups pounce, eight puppies chase, nine puppies bounce in a pudgy puppy race. Okay, so on this page we have, let's see, we've got seven, eight, and nine. Whoa, do you guys know what number is next? I 
can't wait to hear it. <gasps> ten! Ten pups tussle. Ten puppies win. Ten puppies show off a puppy puppy grin. Can you guys show me your biggest grins? Oh, so good. Okay, now can you show me the number ten? All right. Ten. After five, ten is probably the easiest because you just put both hands out, dressed like that, and you get to do ten. All the puppies sniff, no puppies stray. Every puppy dines in the Line Up Cafe. Do we want to count all of our puppies again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pups nudge, nine puppies nibble, eight puppies beg for more yummy puppy kibble. Do you guys, have you guys ever been around a begging dog before? They make kind of a cute little noise. They go like, mm, 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 mm. can you guys try that? Mm, 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 mm. Seven pups yawn, <sighs> six puppies hiccup. Five puppies wash in a mommy puppy lick up. All right, so we just, we counted back down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and then we got to 5 again. Four pups nuzzle. Three puppies rest. Two puppies curl in a puppy muzzle nest. The last pup sacks, all the pups sleep. No pups awake in the furry puppy heap. Until one pups up. The end. Great job, everyone. Thank you so much for following along with that. And um, yeah, this is just one of my absolute favorite books. One Pups Up. It's got counting. It's got rhymes. Um, both counting and rhyming are great for practicing those early literal, it, oof, early literacy skills. Um, practicing the numbers with your children, showing up your, uh, doing your fingers. That helps improve their dexterity, which they're eventually going to need to learn to write, be able to turn pages and do all that stuff for reading. So always keep practicing your numbers. Keep practicing those fine motor skills because that's going to help out that dexterity. And then also rhyming is great because uh, it helps you, I'm trying to remember, maybe I don't remember that fact off the top of my head, but rhyming helps kids memorize, which also helps with uh, early literacy. But I will bring you a better, uh, a better uh, tip about rhyming later because I think that that one's close, but a little far off base. Okay, so that's one pups up. So keep practicing counting. I know it's tricky, it's hard to get those one and that two up. Uh, and then three, four, and you can always count the other way if you think that's a little bit easier, although I think that one feels really awkward on my hand. Um, but yeah, practicing those things are great ways to build those early literacy skills. Okay, so that's when pops up. Now we're gonna go back and get Morris back out and see if he'll sing a song with us. Morris, are you ready to sing a song? Okay, he's in here. Oh. Morris, it's face first. Oh no, he's coming out, he's coming out. Wah! Here we go, our cute little monkey. Okay, so this is a song that I learned over the summer all about puppies, uh, but it's also just a cute song to sing to your little one. I'm gonna sing it to Morris. Morris is gonna um, sway along with me. You guys can dance around, you can have fun. Um, this is just kind of a fun sing-along song. And it goes like this. Oh, I have something to tell you, and it won't take long. The way I feel about you is a kind of a song. It starts with an ooh, and it ends with a kiss. Can you guys all practice kissing? There's something in the middle, and it goes like this. It goes, ooh, snuggle puppy of mine. Everything about you is especially fine. I love who you are. I love what you do. Fuzzy little snuggle puppy, I love.
love you. I said, ooh, snuggle puppy of mine. Everything about you is especially fine. I love who you are. I love what you do. I love you. What do you think, Morris? <gasps> he said he loves it, but he wants to change the words to monkey. All right, just this once, Morris. We're doing puppy story time, but because I love you so much, we'll change it to monkey. All right, here we go. Oh, I have something to tell you, and it won't take long. The way I feel about you is a kind of a song. It starts with an ooh, and it ends with a kiss. There's something in the middle, and it goes like this. It goes, ooh, snuggle monkey of mine. Everything about you is especially fine. I love who you are. I love what you do. Fuzzy little snuggle monkey, I love you. I said, ooh, snuggle monkey of mine. Everything about you is especially fine. I love who you are. I love what you do. I love you. Oh, thanks, Morris. Morris is already clapping for me. Well, you can sing that song to a puppy if you've got one at home. You can sing it to a kitty. You can sing it to your very own snuggle monkey. But I hope you guys have a great week. And um, like I said, next week I won't be live, but I'll be coming to you from the Humane Society. Well, I will get to snuggle so many kitties. I'm so excited. Morris, are you going to come with me? Oh, he's going to come with me too. Okay, well, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great week, everyone. And I uh, hope your Monday gets off to a great start and the rest of your week is lovely. Bye.